Today we are going to review the Olight RN1500 front bicycle light. The 1500 standing for 1500 luminars. When it arrives, it comes in this uh, very sturdy box. Sort of reminds me of the, uh, the old iPhone boxes. And there's a nice message saying, thank you for being a part of our Olight family. Your support is why we do this. Enjoy, Olight team. So let's take it out. Now the light itself, it's all, it, well, the packaging is, is very, very, you know, good quality. Removing the actual light itself from the package, it's very, very heavy. Well, no, no, it's not heavy in a way, it's too heavy. It's just sturdy, sturdy feel to it. It's got the button on the top, the USB charging port at the back. So it's like a rubber feel, the light itself. As I say, it's got a soft rubber feel on the on-off button and then the connector. So as well as the light, you get the connector to the bicycle. And also in the packet, you get a USB charger, uh, just for a bog standard USB, and the connecting end that goes into the actual light. Then you get another sort of connector for the bicycle. Instructions. Instructions. Some clips, I assume, for assisting you with clipping onto the bicycle, and an Allen key for the size for the connector. So, what you initially have to do is, as I showed earlier, get the USB connector port, connect the end to the actual light itself. And then this end will go into your plug. Connecting the wire charging cable into the back of the light. While it charges, a red light flashes so you know that the light is currently charging. Now, uh, the light at the top here, um, when you charge it initially, it will flash red, and that advises you that it's uh, charged between 0 and 10%. That's when it's flashing. When it stops flashing and it's just showing red, it will be charging between 11 and 20%. And when it goes green, this will basically show green, and that will mean it's between 21% and 100% charged. Okay, so when, when it's showing green, which it, it, it has been, I can now press the button and it's showing green as you see, okay? So if you press and hold, the light is showing and it's very bright. So as I said, we've got three levels of brightness got the least uh, bright, which basically is 300 luminars. Now this will last for 12 and a half hours approximately. The middle brightness, which is 750 luminars, that will, that will last for four hours continuous. And the full 1500 luminars, this will last for just over an hour and a half. 
for continuous light, but it is extremely bright, excellent. Now, if you double click on the button, we got flashing, full flashing light. Double click it again, it'll go back to the full on. So if I double click, it flashes. If I click it once, it goes to the quick flash. And I click it again once and it goes back to the single flash. If I click and hold, turns it off. Charging time for this light, the 1500 Lumina, is basically two and a half hours for full charge. And as I said, the, the, the green light will show once it's fully charged. To connect it to the uh, bicycle clip, it's a swivel, you, you push it in, turn it, and it clicks nicely. So then that is how you connect it to your handlebars of your bike. So to release, you just click, push it the opposite direction and you release it so you can take that with you and leave this on your bike and then use this as a torch. The one thing it does say in the instructions is when it's on full power, do not put it in an, back in the box with it on or laying on the ground or certainly facing the ground. This, this will, is so powerful and it will heat up and it will, you know, eventually I assume catch fire. So you have to be extra careful with that. The dimensions of the Olight RM 1500. This is to compare against an iPhone 6. Yeah, it's a little bit shorter than the phone. Uh, length is 4.2 inches and diameter is 1.2 inches. So it's a very small, but gives fantastic power to size ratio I would say a distance of as it says on the box 164 meters from this uh, this light so it's great total weight is about six ounces so as I said earlier uh, it's it's a solid feel it's not light but it's it's it feels like it's a sturdy sturdy size and weight Okay, so it's quite easy to fit the connector to the bike handlebar. Feed it round. And then use the Allen key provided to tighten it up. It is adjustable, so it should fit any handlebar, whether that's mountain bike or road bike. actual bike light connects in like that as you can see from the various settings by pressing the button and the strength of the light gets brighter you get a fantastic uh, vision at night and by double clicking you get the flash flash rate sequences. This is obviously from the video. Uh, I took a still and you can really see how bright the light is. All in all, a great light, works well. All in all, it's, it's a great light. As I say, it just feels sturdy, um, solid. Um, I think it could be dropped and, and it would be fine. It looks good. It's small, compact, but at the same time, gives a fantastic and powerful light. So great for night cycling, whether that's road biking or mountain biking in the, in the woods. I would recommend this. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to look out for more reviews coming soon.